Hi guys, it's Tasha. This video, for the most part, I think is going to be more of a vlog than anything about my natural hair journey. I've been natural since January of 2012 and I'm still having issues finding things that work for my hair. If you've watched one of my videos, you know that I have 4C hair. So right now I am trying to find products that work best with my hair. I know things don't work the same for everybody. The same product that works for one person may not necessarily work for another. So that was one of the reasons why I went to the Talia Waji World Natural Hair Health and Beauty Show. This past weekend, I went Saturday, which was October the 6th. And my main reason for going was to really pick up some shampoos that were sulfate free, paraben free, you know the, the whole thing. And I think I did that. I have committed myself to trying not entire lines, but at least six different brands to try and see hopefully that one of those will work okay for me now I'm gonna show you some other things that I got it really wasn't everything that I wanted I went on a very limited budget on purpose so that I could not overspend and just get a whole bunch of stuff I really wanted to stick to maybe one or two lines and get a shampoo, a moisturizing shampoo, a moisturizing conditioner, and maybe a curling pudding or something that will hold the curl or, well, when I did like a twist out or something. So, excuse me, let me show you what I did get. Okay, the first thing, and like I said, this looks like a lot, but it really isn't. I got the jojoba oil, and this jojoba, I'm going to use this jojoba oil in place of my Jamaican black castor oil now I used this stuff on my hair full on my scalp rather full strength and it made my scalp itch horrendously and I've scratched and of course so right now my scalp is very tender it hurts for the most part so I got the whole hobo oil I'm going to use that in place of this now my research online says that not it's not a particular brand but it's castor oil itself that does that to some people not everybody has that type of reaction but a lot of people do so what I did was I had this bottle and I had about two ounces left and I filled it up to the six ounce mark with this particular olive oil and I just got this at Marshall's so it's just any old, I'm assuming, extra virgin olive oil. And they say that you can use either olive or coconut oil. But I'm not going to go back with this black castor oil until after my scalp heals. Now one product I did get was shampoo. was this one. Let me see if I got the information for it in the bag. And this is from... I, I don't even, I guess that's Sparrow Sue's Garden. And this is the card for Sparrow Sue's Garden. And actually, when I picked this product up, this is the business card as well. When I picked this product up, I asked the young lady that was selling it to me if it was sulfate free, paraben free, you know, that type of stuff. And she said, oh yeah, it's, it's, there's no sulfates in it. And I'm like, okay. So I didn't bother to read the ingredients. So when I get home, I started reading the ingredients. And if you guys know, can you tell me if that's a sulfate? I don't know if you can see it or not. That one and that one there. Are those sulfates? But... In actuality, this particular one I don't mind because it has tea tree oil in it. And I'm going to use this oil, I mean, I'm sorry, this shampoo, I'm going to use it like you would oil your scalp. 
and let it sit for about 15 minutes and then wash like normal to try and get my scalp to heal from me scratching with that black castor oil and I'm going to like I said I'm going to use the whole oil in this place and hopefully I won't have a reaction like that again if it happens again then I won't use the black castor oil on my scalp ever again and I hope that I'll be able to use it for my eyelashes and eyebrows now according to this this is their ad in the show guide uh, Jamaican black oil, castor oil, rabbit hair growth for all types, your answer to da 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 it says eyelashes and eyebrow growth. So if it does not work for my scalp, I can I'ma try it here. And if it doesn't work here, I might wind up throwing it out. So we shall see. The next products, and I'm actually really looking forward to it from upscale. Well, I gave this, I think upscale is the magazine. I think this is a Brana product. Yeah, this is a Brana Brothers product. And this, and I've showed the, this pamphlet before. Ooh, let me move this back so. There we go. And this is the one when I showed that I actually, when I found out what type of hair I actually have. And then I could figure out what I can and cannot do with it. So um, I have 4C hair according to this. So I know I'm not going to be able to do wash and go because my 4C hair doesn't wash and go. So I got these two particular products. This one's extra moist detangle conditioner and extra moist detangling shampoo. And it says there is for dry brittle hair the conditioner Enhance the shine, deep penetrating. The shampoo, straight wavy, curly, kicky, curly, kicky, coily. Hydrates and detangles. Sulfate free formula. Cleanses and moisturizes and enriches, enriched with argan oil. No paraffin, no, excuse me, no petroleum, mineral oil, or silicone. No harsh alcohols, paraben and dye. So I'm going to, yeah, sulfate free. So this is what I was looking for. So I got these two products, and I can't wait to try them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hair with this first. Like I said, put it on my scalp, and then come back with these two products. So I'm looking forward to that. Get my scalp healed. Y'all just understand, it is sort of death. This next one is a shampoo bar. And it's called Grand Pool Bar. And it's a solid shampoo. And again, I asked the young lady if it had any sulfates and all that stuff. And then she said no. So, okay. So, I'm going to read this eventually to find out. And this is from a company. I'm assuming this is OEN. Let me see if I got, if I have OEN's. Mm, and it actually smells very good. It smells kind of like, what is that scent? Uh, I bet if I can, if I had read it, I could probably tell you. But actually, it smells, it smells kind of medicated, and it smells good. This is Oyen. I hope I'm saying that right. So if you want to check them out, feel free. And I'm actually going to try and check them out a little bit further to be totally honest I didn't get a chance to really um, do a lot of looking that I would like to have done because like I said I was there on a mission to get them shampoo and that was really it and I got these products from this is three sisters this is a shirt that I got when I bought the products two little t-shirt that makes it cute. Mm. I can't get it in the camera, but that's it. Uh, so, put that over there. Move this bag out the way. So, I got. Put this back there. I got these three, and these were three for 20. This, she explained to me. 
is a once a week nourishing treatment you wash and condition your hair and then you come back with this and it says compares to Miss Jessie's rapid recovery treatment the only thing I can tell you about this product is it smells horribly I do not like the way that this smells at all and I may ugh, this is how it looks and I actually may put something in it to make to try to change that smell but it stinks it has a chemical type smell to it I don't know it's just just not a good smell and I got this one this is the sweet honey rose treatment and this is compared to Miss Jessie's super sweet back treatment and she explained to me that this was more like a cream rinse type situation now this smells good this smells almost like candy again so I'm, I'm gonna try those as well and I got a bunch of samples I have these are from Lustre Silk two curl activated moisturizers two moisture max oil moisturizing lotion and two curl puddings I got this from Groganics the scalp treatment I got the locking gel from Jamaican, um, Jamaican mango and lime as well as the tingle shampoo I got a sample of the sweet honey rose treatment which is I actually have the jar I have a sample of this love my skin petroleum free moisture from love my baby so I don't have a baby but I'm gonna try that and these are some things that I got from the Bronner Brothers booth which is um, for naturals and it says afro stretch curl cream kinky coily I they knew what kind of hair I have that's for sure and I also got this I don't Robert's diamond bond protective shield I think this is the same as that morning glory stuff that when you have if you're having a perm or whatever and you're gonna glue the stuff to your scalp or whatever it is this supposedly protects your hair from that process and last but certainly not least I got samples of another Jamaican black castor oil and this is from the same place I got the jojoba oil from and samples of the liquefied coconut oil and before I go and before I let you guys get out of here I'm just going to show you a couple of places that I a couple of cards that I got and this is from who is this from Crystal Coffs Coffs Jet Head Wraps and these were actually very nice so if you're interested you know look them up another one let's see this is curly cues curly hair care fit what for principles okay so this is um, natural hair care for children I'm assuming so if you're interested in in this type of product see so there's a www.curls that biz okay and let's see okay here's one this is a book and I think this person was there doing a book signing natural hair quest and you can purchase the book at www.naturalhairquest.com I get, didn't get a chance to get over to their area like I said I was busy trying to find shampoo and here's another one and I don't think this has anything to do with hair 31 gifts and more want to make money join a team okay so anyway yeah and the last one is mahogany roots this is a grand opening I, I'm assuming they're a new company so do they have a uh, online store mahoganyroots.com so if you're interested just go by check them out and we'll see what's happening but I will let you guys know what happens with my hair and scalp as time goes like I said this is a not pushing products I'm just trying to find 
what works for my hair especially since I'm still new to this natural hair journey and it's actually driving me nuts so guys I want you to have a good night and I will see you in the next vlog good night now